Hi everyone. For math today, we are going to do some subtraction and we're going to use some Play-Doh. So the materials that you will need today are a piece of paper to make a mat for, it's called subtraction smash, and another piece of paper or your journal to write down your answers. And then you need 10 balls of Play-Doh if you have Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh at home, you can just use any other manipulatives. You can use pieces of paper like I did for the adding and instead of smashing, you'll just take them away. Um, you can use food or different things that you have around the house, okay? So find something that you're going to use, get all of your materials ready and we'll get started. When you have your mat, go ahead and write at the top, subtraction smash. And then you need to make a 10 frame. So make a big rectangle, one line in the middle, and then four lines down to make a 10 frame with 10 spaces, 10 windows that we're going to use. If you think that you might need to do some harder subtraction problems, you can make two 10 frames so that you have 10 in the top 10 frame and 10 more to make 20 in total, okay? And then you can do some subtraction um, with bigger numbers. So first I'm going to show you what you can use um, that's on the PowerPoint, on the Google Slides. So you can also, if you have a printer at home, you can print these cards that are going to have problems for you to do, subtraction problems for you to do. Um, there's, there are 12 problems. And you can also print this sheet at the bottom where you can record your problems or write down the number sentence and the answer at the end, okay? Only if you have a printer. If not, just do what I'm going to do. All right. So I'm going to use the problems that are on those cards. So the first one is five minus three. So remember in subtraction, we use a minus sign. Addition, we used a plus sign. Subtraction, we use a minus sign. And that means that we're going to take away. So we're going to start with the number five and we take away three to see how many we have left. So if you're using Play-Doh, you're going to start with the number five in your 10 frame. So I'm going to put five balls of Play-Doh, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so we have five. Now it says minus three, take away three. And here's the fun part. You're going to use your fist to smash three balls of Play-Doh to see how many you have left that are nice and neat, okay. So let's smash three, ready? One, two, three. So if I smashed the three, I took those away, how many do we have left? We have two left. So for the number two, you curve around and slide to the right to make the numeral two. All right, I'm going to take these off, fix up these Play-Doh balls real quick and see what my next problem is. You just roll them in the palm of your hand to make them nice round balls. The next problem is, problem number, number two says eight minus four. So I'm gonna write the number two. I know this is my second math problem and it's eight minus four equals. Don't forget your equal sign. Sometimes you guys just put your answer without your equal sign and then it looks like, like for this one, it would look like five minus 32 instead of five minus three equals two. So don't remember, don't forget your equal sign. All right, let's do eight minus four. So I'm going to start with the number eight. Eight balls of Play-Doh on my 10 frame, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight minus four means we need to take four away. So let's smash four, ready? 
One, two, three, four. And how many do you have left? We have one, two, three, four. Four were smashed and we have four left. So eight minus four equals four. To write the number four, you go down, over, down some more to make the numeral four. All right. The next problems are on um, the, the link that's on the PowerPoint slide. So you can look at the rest there. I'm also going to write some of them really quickly here and show you how to do them with the other manipulatives that I have, the little square pieces of paper that I cut out. So number three, problem number three is six minus four equals, problem number four is 10 minus seven. Remember, if these are too easy for you, if you want to challenge yourself, you can make two 10 frames and start with 20 balls of Play-Doh instead, okay? So for six minus four, if you are using, I'll let me move my balls of Play-Doh, if you are using little pieces of paper or other counters that you have at home, this is how you'll do it. So I'm going to put six pieces of paper in my 10 frame, because I start with six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it says minus four, so that means take away, take away four and see how many we have left. One, oh, hold on, I don't wanna do that. Let me start over, so I have my six, now I'm going to take it away like you would fill the 10 frame. That's, I, take, I took away two, three, four. So how many do you have left? Two. Curve around and fly to the right. All right, the rest of the problems are on the link. I will show that to you one more time. So I wrote those four on the piece of paper and here are the next four. So you're going to do nine minus two, six minus three, five minus four, eight minus six, and here are four more. Four minus one, five minus two, eight minus five, and 10 minus five. Alrighty, have fun smashing Play-Doh.